everyone, thank you for joining me. Today I thought I would do a video of what to get the roller coaster slash theme park enthusiast in your life. Um, obviously I've done this for Christmas, as you might be able to tell, Christmas setup. Um, but they're anytime gift ideas, or 2020 has been horrible, why not treat yourself? Um, all the links for everything, products and sites are in the description below if you want to check them out. Uh, first up, if you just want a greetings card, then look no further than this. Ding! <laughs> From Coasterbot. I love this card so much. Um, I might just buy it and send it to myself. It's so good. Um, while you're on the website, definitely ordering the card. You should look at the rest of their merch as they've got some good stuff on there too. So in no particular order for gifts, you can start with clothing, maybe an obvious one, but who doesn't need another cozy jumper in their life? Um, I guess you just start off by thinking about who you're buying for. Do they like big designs or more subtle? Do they like theme park things or ride specifics? That's sort of where you start. Um, theme park websites are good for this, which I'll show you later, um, but yeah. Personally, I quite like more subtle designs, generally. Um, this one is a good one to show you. Um, this is one of my favorite hoodies. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, probably not that subtle to enthusiasts, but to the general public, it's probably quite subtle. Um, it's, as you can see, it's the um, tracks and ride vehicles from the major coasters at Alton Towers, and I just love it. Um, it's from Redbubble, which you've probably heard of, but they're really great for lots of things, so definitely worth checking out. Yeah, love it. Um, another example of just sort of slightly different things you can get that are available, this denim jacket. Ooh, ah. um, I love it so much. It was a gift, so I can't um, put the link below because it was a one-off but it's from Etsy, so they're another website you've, again, probably heard of, but really worth checking out for lots of different things. I love it, it's amazing. Yeah, what else do you need to say? Teespring.com is another good one where people upload their own things like Redbubble and Etsy, but um, I've ordered from one called Roller Coaster Styles before. They're really cool, worth checking out. Also, Screwy Loops, who you've probably heard of, um, he did a really cool range if you search for Airtime Addict. So yeah, lots out there in terms of clothing, um, hats, jumpers, t-shirts, all sorts. Ooh. Also, quick mention for Cupcakes and Coasters, who you're probably already following on all the socials. Um, she's releasing a line soon, not sure when. Um, really cool, um, very subtle merch, but yeah, really good, worth checking out. Right, up next is books. Um, I've got a few examples here to show you, but yeah, there's obviously lots of other things around. Uh, first up is this one. Um, if there's an enthusiast left in the UK who doesn't own this book, I would be surprised. But um, you should get it for them if they don't. <laughs> um, it's John Wardley's story and it's definitely worth a read. Next up, this is kind of one of those generic, slightly outdated books in a way, but it's full of kind of fun facts and it looks good on a bookshelf. Uh, this one, this beast, so heavy, is um, I actually got fairly recently as a present and I'm ashamed to say I haven't read it yet. I've flicked through it and it's really cool. I love the style of it and the pictures. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to show you this properly, but it's, yeah, super cool. You probably can't see any of that properly. Um, so I can't say whether it's worth a read because I haven't read it, but <laughs> I think it's gonna be really good and it looks very interesting. Lastly, as um, an example of thinking about who you're buying for and what they like specifically. This was a gift for me, it's mine. Um, it's an account from the Jaws ride, I'm a massive Universal fan, so I'm gonna show you the back of it, but um, it's we're talking about designing it and building it and the problems they had and then accounts from different um, skippers who worked on it and stuff. It's a very cool book. But um, yeah, it was just an, as an example of other like niche things that are around, depending who you're buying for. Um, all those books are actually from Amazon. And another one that I saw people posting about was an unofficial Thought Park one that um, is on Amazon at the minute. So maybe that's worth checking out as well. I don't actually have it, but it might be worth a look. 
<laughs> okay, models next. Not something that I'm personally into, but you might know someone who is. Um, but I have been eyeing up a few of the nano coasters. So this is the Coaster Dynamics website. Thought I'd just give you a quick look around. They've got some cool kits and things, depending on your vibe. Not loads to show you, but I thought these were quite cute. <laughs> the Lego ones. Um, the nano coasters that I just said about. I mean, how cute is this? <laughs> I love it. Um, yes, also another way of doing the nano coasters and a bit more selection is going on a specific park website. So just as an example, I've got the Cedar Point one here. One thing to note is that the price pretty much doubles if you want it sent to the UK. So definitely worth noting to avoid disappointment at the checkout. Um, and then sort of on a similar vibe, um, connects. I mean, it's a quite a cool end product if you like the building. Obviously they're a lot bigger, but just thought it was worth a look as well. Right, theme park enthusiasts are a weird breed. I'm including myself in that sentence. Um, we like more than just the ride, we like the whole experience. So another thing you might want to check out is the Aroma Prime website. Um, they do a lot of the smells and scent pods for different attractions. Does that sound like a weird gift idea? Yes, even more so now I've said it out loud, but I want my house to smell like hex during the close season and I'm not ashamed. Prints up next, um, there's a lot of different things out there again depending who you're buying for, um, photos, you could print your own photos and then frame them, I think that makes them look really expensive and it doesn't have to be. Um, I've got a couple of examples to show you of um, prints that I've got, I've got a lot in my house. Um, this one is Six Flags Magic Mountain, I just love the picture, it was a gift but as you can see we've framed it just, uh, yeah, I just think it sets it off and it looks really great. Reminding me of happier times. Uh, whoop, the other one I thought I'd show you because it was a nighttime one is this one. Can you see it probably? Um, of Shikra Bush Gardens. I just think it's great because it's a night one. It's like lit up, it looks great. Again, looks really good framed. So, yeah. So, a slightly different twist on the prints is something like this. I found this site on, web Ooh, on Etsy. Um, I've actually been in contact with the lady, she was really lovely and really helpful and, well, you know what I'm eyeing up. I think it looks super cool. And you can do it in different colours in there as well. Just showing you as an example. And then, next, there's quite a lot of um, this sort of style on Etsy, like the watercolour things. I have actually ordered a couple as gifts and I framed them just using Ikea frames that I got from Amazon. So it worked out really cheap as a gift, but it looks really good. They look really good framed. They're more Disney sort of universal vibe really, but definitely worth, worth checking out if it's your sort of thing. UK ride specific for that watercolour style, you should check out GC Artwork on Etsy. I recently discovered them and the prints are really cool. Again, all links below. A random one next, but I stumbled across this a while ago on Etsy and it's been on my wish list ever since, so I thought I would show you as it might appeal to you as well. I just thought it was a really unique idea for a gift, good for, well, designed for hanging your annual passes, but obviously hang whatever you want from it and a great gift because you can personalize it with different colors and obviously the name as well yeah definitely want an iron and glassy one from my wall <laughs> i'm pretty sure everyone hit up all of the online stores for the theme parks during the last lockdown but just in case i thought i'd give you a quick scroll around a couple of them so here's the alton towers website first uh, you're probably already familiar with it, but just in case, I thought I'd give you a little look around their shop. Um, there's different categories along the top, which is really helpful. I mean, I don't know if this is my age, but loving the bag for life. I think that's great. <laughs> uh, pins, I can't remember if I mentioned before, 
not my vibe, but very popular with enthusiasts. So they have um, pins on here, which is good. Um, yeah, I really like the towel. I don't know why, a bit weird. And they've got um, these board games. I think that's a really good idea for a game. A game? Sorry, a present. Um, they've also got the CD, which if you haven't already got, is a really good idea as well. Um, what else have they got on here? Let's have another look. Oh, face mask, very 2020. Another helpful thing for the clothing, or actually for all of it, is they've just got their big rides along the top. So then all their merch for each ride is in one place, which is really helpful. Uh, something else I discovered, which is a good presence thing, is just on this next bit. So you go, oh yeah, Christmas products. Let's have a bauble. And then you can personalize it for whoever you're buying for. It's gonna show you, it pops up on. Way! <laughs> Just thought I'd show you that it shows you a sort of what it will look like, which is helpful for buying prezzies. Yeah, that's about it really. So, next up, I thought I'd show you the Blackpool Pleasure Beach shop. Uh, really cool. There's a couple of things I noticed here to show you. Where is it? Oh, disappeared. Anyway, it's also here. The brick, which I think is really cool, personalised brick. I got one as a gift for Alton Towers and I really like it. Very cool. This made me chuckle a bit but also is amazing because what doesn't say Christmas like tartan, that tartan packet of shortbread but then Mr Funshine. Oh, brilliant. And they're only £1.50. Bargain. So like Alton Towers, you can go on the, get just the list of the big rides, the icon obviously, everyone's going to choose. Candle, I think that's a really cool present, just a totally different sort of thing for theme parks. The model, if you've got, you know, a bigger budget, very cool, the different rides, and then obviously you've got clothing again, which I think most things, like the Alton Towers one, you can personalise things, which is nice. Um, another thing to mention, which I thought for any park, but just while I'm here, is tickets are a good present. Either just a day ticket, if you know when you're going, or um, an annual pass maybe, season pass. I know everything's a bit up in the air in the minute, at the minute, but it's still a cool present, I think. Yeah, so you just sort of search where you're looking for. I'll just give you a little scroll around. I got some fun things. I like some of their ghost train merch, I think it's really fun. Even though I'm scared of ghost trains. Offers, always a nice thing to search in. Last chance to buy, get a little bargain. Gift vouchers if you can't find anything specific. I don't know if that's showing my age again, but I love a gift voucher. So I can go shopping. Yeah, just, just cool really. Face masks again. That's the new thing. Yeah. That's about it really. Just take a look yourself but yeah worth looking at last few just sort of miscellaneous bits and um, stickers and mugs I think is a quite a good idea it's just little presents for people I don't actually have any to show you but um, I know that Redbubble and Etsy again I know I've said them a few times um, are really good for that sort of thing also individual theme park websites again we've just looked at but they're really good for mugs and water bottles that sort of thing I also just wanted to mention here a couple of things that I'd seen on Instagram. So um, again, if you're not already following these people, then do. Um, Diary of a Roller Coaster Girl was thinking about doing some of her photos on magnets. Um, magnets, another one I think is a really cool present. Also, she's been all over, so and her photos are incredible. So definitely keep an eye on her Instagram to see if she goes with it. And another one I saw recently was Skyline Coasters um, has done a calendar. Obviously, that's a great Christmas present and. The pictures again really really cool worth having a look hopefully this was helpful for you in some way or at least a bit fun sort of turned into a bit of a christmas wish list for myself and that was inevitable um i know i've used a lot of the same sites for things but that's just what i found obviously there's loads of other things out there 
and let me know what you found. Also, if you have a shop yourself, then I'd love to have a look and send customers your way. So please put a link in the comments, that would be great. Thanks everyone for watching. Bye.